the characteristic impedance of the aluminum is 1 plus j, 3.2 e to the minus 4. And the characteristic impedance of free space is about 377 ohms. So when we plug this in, we get a reflection coefficient of minus 0.999998 plus j 1.69761 e to the minus 6, which if in polar form is 0.999998 at an angle of 179.9999 degrees. In other words, a tiny bit of the wave will be transmitted into the aluminum, which will then decay exponentially according to the skin depth, but a large part of the wave is reflected. Uh, this is almost equal to minus one. We can physically describe how the large reflection is generated on the surface of the airplane. When we have an isolated electron, the electric fields are oriented inwards towards the electron from all directions. But in the aluminum, there are a lot of free electrons, and on the surface of the aluminum, there will be electric fields oriented towards all these electrons. So here's a whole bunch of electrons. So on the surface, the electric fields of the aluminum looks like this. Here's the aluminum and here is the air. When the EMP reaches the airplane, the incident electric field is oriented like this, let's say, E incident, and the incident electric field will cause the electrons to accelerate in the downwards direction because they will feel a Coulomb force in that direction. As a result, so here we have accelerate downwards and that's because of this incident electric field. They feel a Coulomb force. And as the electrons accelerate downwards, their electric fields are going to bend downwards, which creates an electric field in the opposite direction as the incident electric field. So here, as the electrons move down, here is our incident E field. And these, elect um, these should be more at the surface, but the electric fields, which were initially just pointing straight inward, are going to, as these accelerate downward, these are going to be 
uh, the electric fields are going to be coming down, pointing downwards towards the moving electrons. As a result, these all together create a downward reflected E field. And the reflection coefficient is negative. Let me add here this gamma incident, gamma hat, and here is gamma reflected uh, hat. So putting all this together, the EMP generates a current on the outer part of the aluminum skin of the airplane, which generates a reflection. The electromagnetic wave does not propagate through the aluminum skin because the electric field at the surface of the aluminum skin decays very rapidly into the aluminum. The skin depth is very short. So putting all this together, does this mean the outer aluminum skin of the airplane protects all the electronics on the airplane?